This example is going to cover the use of the view base command and also creating dimensions in paper space. I'm going to start with a rectangle that I'll extrude to one inch. Now I want to sketch on the front face, so I'm going to create a new user coordinate system that allows me to do that. Notice that the origin is going to be the same, but the y axis will move. Now I'm going to use a polyline to create the profile that I'd like to use. After I'm finished with the profile, I can select it and extrude it. I'm just going to create a solid here that I'll subtract later. Now I want to sketch on this side face, so I'm going to move, I'm going to make a new user coordinate system again. Notice that I can easily snap to the geometry I've already created. Here I'll use a simple rectangle Once again, I want to extrude it, and I can just pull it all the way through the rest of the objects. This creates a third solid body. Now I need to subtract the two solid bodies I've created from the big from the block. You can see my sketches are still in the object layer, so I'll move them to the construction layer. I can change the view to conceptual to help visualize it better. Now let's move to paper space. First I'll delete the viewport. Now I'm going to use the view base command. This allows me to create the orthographic projections from either the model space or a file. I'll use model space. The front view is already selected and I can change the scale. I can also change the visibility of different features, and I can select whether I just want to create a base view or also projected views with it. In this case, I'll create projected views. Here I want visible and hidden lines, so I can go ahead and create those. Pressing enter will move me to the next command. Now I'm also going to want an isometric view, but I don't want it this large. So I'll just hit enter to exit, and all three of the views are created. I can use view base again to create the isometric view. I'll change the orientation to the northeast, and notice that the scale does not have to be the same as the other views. I don't want any projected views, so I can just hit enter. Notice that the view has hidden lines, which I don't want for an isometric. So I can click on the view to edit it, go up to the ribbon to the Drawing View Editor tabs, and make changes there. Now I want to dimension my views, so I'll move to the Dimensions layer and start creating dimensions. Notice that I can easily snap to the views and the correct dimensions are shown.
I would need more dimensions to correctly to finish this part, but let's leave it there for now. I need to finish filling in the title block, and I'm going to use DWG props to do that. Either saving the drawing or using a regen all command will update the fields. Now I need to insert the scale, so I'll use an mText entity. I want to select an object. Notice what happens if I click on the object line. This brings block reference here. We do not want the block reference for this field. Instead, I'll click in the empty space around the drawing. This is a little tricky because the drawing view itself has a border, but it's currently invisible. Sometimes it takes a few clicks to be able to select the outline. Notice that now I have the drawing view as the object. You might be tempted to pick standard scale. However, if you do, it's going to say custom. Notice here, once I'm out of this, once I'm out of the field menu, that I can click on the drawing and see the border for the view. The field you actually want is custom scale. I'll change the text height. And I also need to move that to the proper layer. So now I have views that are created from model space and a scale that's linked. Note that these views will update automatically when model space is updated.